Hey fam, it's me Aaron. And I'm Tony, the draw friend. And we brought him back a second time because we are still selling this Dungeons and Doritos comic. It sold like crazy in this shop. It's really well drawn, but the, the most sad part of it is it's so freaking well written that, you know, I'm so pissed that it's so well written. Like, if it was just mediocre, I'd been more happy yeah. because I'd be like, you know, eh, we didn't lose that great of a talent, but yeah, no, we did. It was, it was for a first comic ever written for this guy, Mike Pandell. It's phenomenal. And we sold the crap out of it here in the store. He signed them all. And if you want them nationally, we that's the most common question we can get. You can get it from nerdyshow.com. Nerdyshow.com is a website I bought, named, and founded. <laughs> I am these are facts. Go to whois.com. No, but um anyway, I I'm the executive producer of Nerdy Show. And all things nerdy in Orlando actually came from my womb. And <laughs> So anyway, the digital copy is 99 cents, and those are un beyond unlimited. There, yes. There's so many of those. But um, the actual print copies, you're selling them there too for yep. the, the regular. $3.99. $3 and uh, also these sketch covers that are very limited that you know are going fast. And We're starting to run out. You want me to draw on your comic, don't you? I mean, I drew the rest of it. You might as well have a little bit more on the cover. His I'm art is saying. so good that you should pay for it, honestly. I mean, yes. we're, we're very aware that Mike Pandell did not pay him to draw this. No, no, but we did not. But his art is good enough to pay for, and he will draw whatever you want, including penis monsters. And... Penis golems. Oh, Jewish penises? Yes. Oh, wow. Like <laughs> the penis golem. Is. They were all circumcised. Yes. All right, so anyway, that's what I brought him on here for. He is drawing. He will draw whatever you want, and this book is actually really good. Uh, Just League number six, this is the only time I will ever say I am thoroughly grateful for a late book. This book shipped two weeks late, and I am ecstatic about it because they didn't ship anything else this week Woo! because it's the fifth week. Whenever there's five Wednesdays now, since the reboot, there's some kind of glitch in the reboot where DC just doesn't know what to do. They're like, oh, five Wednesdays, ah, teen, Tiny Titans. You know, it's like, what? You know, I don't know. But anyway, this book was phenomenal. It's the end of the first story arc. Uh, Cyborg is having his best week ever. Uh, Justice League <laughs> Doom comes out this week where Cyborg was the magic character that McDuffie wrote that could just save the day. And was... <sighs> Would you stop saying curse words? All right. Yes. And then Justice League... Cyborg is the wild card again that comes in and saves the day and everything, and it's awesome. And it's very well drawn. Uh, these guys just bicker and fight and bust each other's balls, except for Green Lantern and Flash. They're, they're fast friends, and uh, for some reason, Tony made hand puppets. I don't know. He really wants to be on this show, guys. So, I mean, like, I don't know. So, Just League 6 is out. We have all six in stock. Most stores probably will because issue four, second print, came out today. And uh, come check it out. It's Jeff Johns. It's Jim Lee. And if you aren't a comic guy and see Justice League Doom, read this. It's like, um, instead of Vandal Savage, it's uh, Dark Side. Yeah. And it's just as good. Cool. And uh, Batman Beyond Unlimited, yes, it's two descriptors that are synonyms. I don't know why. It's Beyond Unlimited. It's New Unlimited Adventures. It's cool cartoony art. It's backup stories with the Justice League Unlimited, which is the Justice League of the future. And Quick, Barry, we're going to the future. Grab my nipple. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> face palm. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's why it's Unlimited Beyond, because Beyond is Batman, Unlimited is Justice League, and you guys know this, right? So, it's, it's a great book. You could buy it digitally, but why do that? Um, Ultimates. Marvel has so many good hardcovers out this week. Ultimates is Hickman. More happens in Hickman's Ultimate Avengers book than the regular Avengers 616 line does in the whole year with four books. I mean, this is insane. Plus, you know when people die in here, you know when crazy crap happens, people go evil, Asgard falls, it's not gonna be put back together again in the next issue, or in Journey into Mystery or in some other thing. Everything that happens here, counts, matters, is ridiculous and will not happen in 616. And the best thing about Hickman, I love this man, is he's letting my man Sam Humphreys in the back door. Sam Humphreys is gonna co-write this with him in the next story arc or two, and that's the dude that has sex with dogs from Our Love is Real. And Marvel has this rich history of new writers, fresh talent getting in through the back door. Hickman himself got in through Bendis' back door during uh, Secret Warriors as a co-writer. And then Bendis left and let him write it. And Matt Fraction got in the back door with Brubaker with, um, you know, Punisher War Journal and uh, Iron Fist. Uh, Iron Fist, back door, Fraction, Brubaker. That's a bromance. I mean, all you need is, like, Luke Cage, and it's awesome. But it's going to be great. And... Um, 
I know you guys are sick of me talking about Rick Remender. I love this man. I love everything about this man, from Captain Dingleberry to Uncanny X-Force. His Secret Avengers last week was the best single issue I read in a long time. I identified so much with the O'Grady A-Man character that, oh my god, I cried in that issue. I mean, I've been a whiny little weepy bitch for a few weeks now, but still, I cried with that issue. And this is the second part of Dark Angel Saga. It wraps up the entire dynamic character arc of Warren, of Archangel, that every single issue that Remender did of Uncanny X-Force built toward. They tied up all the subplots phenomenal. Like, I loved it, and it sets up Age of Apocalypse. And when I was reading this, I felt like a little 14-year-old fanboy again. I was just so giddy, it's so fun, except it's well-drawn and well-written. Other than that, it felt exactly like the 90s. <laughs> and I freaking loved it. I love Rick Remender. Thank you, Rick Remender. You make me feel like a little boy. And when I see you this year at San Diego Comic-Con, I am going to kiss you on the lips. Unless you duck, then it'll be on the forehead. Um, and finally, I was going to talk about Ruck as Punisher. This is the new Punisher coming out, and it mixes very well the Max version and the classic Marvel version into a kind of noir -y Punisher, but still in the Marvel Universe fighting some Marvel Universe villains. It's actually quite brilliant. And Rucket is a brilliant crime guy, all the way back to Gotham Central and whatnot in, you know, shared universe type context. He can do that. And um, it just totally cleansed my palate from all that Frankencastle nonsense. I mean, I don't know, I don't even remember who wrote Frankencastle. It was so awful that I just wiped out my mind that Frank Castle was terrible and if you haven't been if you haven't tried Punisher since that first Frank and Castle crap where it's like he's gonna be Frankenstein because his last name's Castle and his first name is Frank. I don't know. That writer was a freaking hack and now you can try this. It's amazing. And um, other than that, A vs X, you got this cool little freebie coming out that gets you all the information you need, gets you ready for issue zero that's coming out next week and it's awesome. It's free. I mean, it says free on his optic blast. If it's, you know, it's clear as day. It's free. Get it. And you'll know whether you want the issue or not by the last page. This is awesome. And also, at most stores, there'll be free coasters. A vs. X coasters. I've tried them out. They actually are functional coasters. They fit a average size, an American size beverage can. I don't know about the UK, but um, it's good. It works. And uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. If you want, subscribe to our videos and check out our blog. And uh, we have other videos every week, some with Eric in a bathtub, Anna, you know, with her boobs. And um, we really thank you for watching and give us any feedback you want. Thanks. Bye-bye.